this beast is the Tamprode Q55 party speaker. Do you ever just get tired of all these RGB lights? Neither do I. Back in the day, I had a boombox that took eight D-cell batteries. And believe me, I ran it off of AC power whenever possible. You won't run into that problem with the Q55. This has a rechargeable 10,000 milliamp hour battery. And I don't think you can change it even if you wanted to. What obvious feature is this speaker missing that every other Bluetooth speaker has? That's right. Comment below if you're going to miss speakerphone. They do include this wireless microphone, but I found the best use for this microphone is just to put it in the trash because it is utter garbage. And it's too bad because the Q55 is pretty good for karaoke. But if that's what you want to do with it, I suggest getting a third party microphone. I guess I haven't mentioned how good it sounds yet. And just look at this monster. In the past, I've reviewed speakers where the manufacturer claims full range speakers. And what it usually means is mid range speakers. But no, the highs sound really good. The mids sound really good. And the bass sounds, yes, really good. The sweet spot for the speaker is not directly in front of the speaker. What you wanna do is put this next to the wall or in a corner, and I think it's because of this port. But that's when the bass really shines. These speakers are rated for 80 watts peak. I don't know what the RMS rating is. They never tell you for Bluetooth speakers, but this is loud. It will fill a room. And if you get a pair of these things in TWS mode, that's all you need. Mm, unless you want a subwoofer, then you're going to have to get creative. But the Q55 is not perfect. If I could change things, I would add a randomized function to the SD card. Maybe I'm the only person left on earth that uses SD cards, but I don't care. I want the randomized function. Also, switching between Bluetooth, SD card, and FM radio is so slow. Sometimes I hit the button more than once because I think it didn't hear me the first time, and then I end up going to the feature after the one I wanted, and then I have to go to the feature after that, and the feature after that to get the one I wanted to begin with. It would be nice if it was just more responsive and went to what I wanted when I wanted to go there. I should also mention you do get this remote, and... It does work for the most part, but I don't think the, the bass plus or minus or the treble plus or minus, I don't think they do anything. Last and definitely least is this terrible, terrible user manual. The print is so small. Even under magnification, I had trouble reading it. And uh, the translation isn't the best. It's not perfect, but it's definitely good. Four out of five. Thanks for stopping by.